put them back to my page wherever you're watching this video from i'm going to be going into the personal readings for the different earth signs okay let's see what's happening next in your relationship over the next six months how can you show better if you're coming back from the if you're coming from the general earth signs reading um now let's see how you can apply the message for your particular sign let's see starting off with taurus how can you show up better in your relationships and with relationships okay so you guys are being pulled to exploring exploring the different ideas how else can you show up how else can you show people do how else what other personality what other sides of your personality do you need to show to the people you work with the people you learn with to the people around you which other parts of yourself have you are not allowed to show which other parts of yourself have you not allowed to be um, expressed okay so this over this next six months yeah, it's like you're going to be trying on different versions of yourself different personality attires if i'm to use that word now it's not about you being fake or you being um compromising or manipulative or trying to be who you are not you know in as you are there are so many different expressions and versions to who you are that you've not explored because you've kept yourself rigidly playing as one archetype okay so now i'm being pulled to two archetypes for you so that you can see what you are playing with and what you have available for you to work with okay so over this next six months you are going to really be switching things up you are going to be switching up your appearance you are going to be switching up your style you are going to be switching up the things you do how you do them okay you're going to be switching up the things you do how you do them you've got tenators you're literally going to be weaving a new style for yourself the venom the offering the vessel some of you may be getting pregnant over this next six months and that's going to dictate a change in your pace in your style in your in your behavior literally the lover yeah so for those of you who are looking to for those of you who are waiting for partnerships okay so over the next six months that's also going to be one of the reasons why you're going to change so you're going to your status is changing from single to married or some of you are changing from married to becoming a parent from being a wife so also being a wife and a mother okay so you're yeah, having that coming the lover is here you've got the vessel so i see here that pregnancy baby is on the way this is also going to be changing your body this is going to be changing how you look what you wear how you take care of yourself okay um but especially these changes are going to come what i'm saying is that these changes are going to come when you've allowed yourself to release what is no longer in alignment with you when you've allowed yourself to release plain small to release versions of yourself that no more in alignment and then you allow yourself to truly step into this new beginning that is opening up for you okay so it's like the universe is giving you the universe is offering you a new life the universe is offering you a new perspective the universe is offering you a new beginning but are you going to be brave enough to leave behind the version of yourself, this old version of yourself that you should be closing out. Are you be going to be brave enough to close out this chapter so you can step into this new beginning? Because in this new beginning, that's where you're having all this mother would come in, um, marriage, your status is changing. It's going to come, but it's going to require you to release what is no longer working. It's going to require you to really, really release this old outdated things you keep doing and you keep holding on to it's like you've spun yourself into a rub i'm also hearing silk is going to be significant so you may be pulling more towards wearing more of silk more of satin more of smooth textured materials that have a shine to them and have a brilliance to them um <laughs> they're not even allowing me to catch my breath okay so over this next six months you have the opportunity to live the life you are to live the life you've been living and to be able to step into the new life spirit is out spirit is opening up for you spirit is saying are you going to be brave enough to take up this offering knowing that you can't receive if your hands are closed for your hands to be open that means you must be willing to release what you are currently holding on to to receive what you want there's some more clarity around this venom here yeah. overload stress okay overload stress i hope the feedback is not so much i'm still trying to figure out like all your placements 
overload we've got excess obligation overwhelm for most of you um this what you need to release is for some of you yeah, like you're being guided to release where you currently work how you currently work the work you do okay because this is causing you a lot of stress it's putting a lot of stress on you it's making you feel like it's your it's an obligation okay so it's no longer about you showing up and showing the world what you have you do what you do it's now become like an obligation that weighs very heavily on you and can be quite overwhelming at times and spirit is saying are you going to release that are you going to release that work are you going to release where you've always done work in order to receive these sweet dreams in order to be able to sleep well you guys may also not be sleeping very good at night you may be being you might be feeling a lot of stress so that even you're having like insomnia what i'm saying is insomnia nightmares night tremors um walking around at night also bruises and grinding your teeth at night all of those things are happening because you are under a lot of stress your night time instead of you to be resting you are also experiencing very severe frontal headaches okay so it's like those things are going to continue to appreciate how do you know say appreciate this is again oh i remember i know now because of the offering so it's like you have to offer up your work how you've always been working the work you've always done where you've always worked you have to offer it up to god as a sacrifice that's why the prophet propitiation is coming in you have to offer it as a sacrifice so that you can receive this sweet life this sweetness this change in your status this marital opportunity this opportunity to become a mother it's like and i spirit is saying i don't want you to see it as you sacrificing your career or you your career progression all the all the and this is very particular to the women like i don't want you to think yes i don't want you to think that you're sacrificing your career progression or the things you've acquired through your work through how you show up on your work because you're not becoming a mother because you're becoming a parent you know i want you to see it as this thing has become too heavy for you it has become too heavy for you to bear and it has become overwhelming and it has crowded your life so much that you don't have space to receive in this new life that you're wanting for yourself okay so you want this new life but you're not willing to release the old one you're not really you're not really you're not willing to release so you are on one hand you are extremely stressed you are overwhelmed but because you're not willing to release that on the other hand spirit has this laziness for you this sweetness this discomfort sleeping resting being at peace being at ease and it's really left to you are you going to release what you're holding on to tightly or are you going to continue to hold on to it tightly because you're afraid of how things are going to flow how things are going to how things are going to happen some of you, you also feel like your work is do without you that's not true and if it's your business that's also not true because if you run a b if you own a business that revolves around you that's no business that's you putting yourself in prison so even this is even if this is your company or your business you have to build in systems to ensure that this thing is going to be able to continue to work is going to be able to work in your absence okay so if you have cancer placements also go watch the reading i did for cancer and for this for this six months in relationship yeah that was cancer yeah okay so um what are you going to do are you going to release all the stress so that you can receive this satisfaction this comfortable life this lazy days when you can just be you can be at rest and you have no worries or are you going to be constantly stressed let's see what's going to help you to make this decision if i finish shopping and nothing comes out i'm being guided to pull affirmation cards for you what you need is more of affirmation what you need is more of changing it's also like there's a lot of limiting beliefs that are stopping you from changing your patterns okay so you've got this ship going but it feels like um so how it's coming to me is like it feels like it's upside down you're supposed to be moving but you're stuck at a mountain place okay so you built up this your ship you built up this ship in your workplace like you're so good you've been there for so long you're the top boss everyone comes to you for everything 
So you feel like you can't do anything else. But now it's time for you to, what I'm hearing, it's time for you to hand over the reins, hand over the steering wheel to someone else. You can no longer be the captain of that ship. You are being redirected to another ship. You are being redirected to another vehicle. For some of you, this is what I'm literally saying. Like spirit is moving away from the ship into the airplane. Yeah, and then so that living up control, that releasing control is what you are struggling with most. Is what you are struggling with most. If you've never gone on a balloon ride or a balloon ride, I want you to try that out because there's something about that experience that is going to unlock this feeling of freedom for you. You guys may also be seeing three three threes as well, three three nine um six to seven six seven six seven um six five six nine as well a lot of threes sixes nines all right let's see what's the affirmation message for you all right Thoros. in stillness i receive you cannot receive when you're all doing 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 being busy 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 being productive 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 being on the move on the grind you cannot receive you cannot in stillness i receive you have to be still oh this angle is so cute for me to <laughs> you have to be still to receive you cannot receive when you're all over the place you know this good news this new life you want to cannot find you when you're all over the place because you don't even have the time to pay attention to it you have to direct your energies towards what you want so be very clear with yourself and very honest with yourself what you truly want in stillness, I receive. I can't. <laughs> no wonder they told me to just pull the, the affirmation cards for you. What is this? I can do less and attract more. That's what spirit wants to give you. Spirit wants to give you the gift of doing less and getting more. Doing less and feeling more comfortable, being more pleasured, having more fun, having more enjoyment, being in love, enjoying life, being present, being grounded. I can do less and attract more. And lastly, you got, can you read it? I don't have to fear my fear. I can use it as a way to get closer to love. So you are very afraid of change. You are very afraid of what's going to come around if you live this life you've always known, if you've stopped doing things the way you've always done. You're very afraid of, okay, how, how are things going to work out? When they need me? When do you feel like I'm letting these people down? No. You know that first of all, if you're not moving from a place of self-love, then everything else you're doing is manipulation. You have to choose to love yourself. And choosing to love yourself is you changing things up, changing up patterns from how they've always been, okay? I don't have to fear my fear. I can use it as a way to get closer to love. All right, my love, Taurians. That was your reading for relationships over this next six months. So you have new relationships starting, especially like marriage or first becoming parent. It's happening for you. But first, you need to release what you're holding on to, what you're clenching tightly, and that's your work life. Capish? All right, baby. If you enjoyed this reading, make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe, follow my page. Do all those things so you stay notified for new videos. And also, if you'd like to book a reading with me, the link is in my... Okay, there's something about the song. <laughs> if you'd like to book a reading with me, the link is in my bio. Botanica.com. I love you, baby.